Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron. And the last video we got lots of colorful orbs. Now we're going to use them. Where Minsk goes, evil stands so that one aside. Is, the pillar is green, so we put in a green I thought something would happen. Well, that is the blue one. Oh, that's purple. That's purple. Okay. What now? You have it is the red done. one. blue one. Ah. All of the colored globes in the four containers disappear and the key appears on the floor. Where? If you pick it up... Oh. Who picked it up? Okay. <laughs> he, <laughs> over here, picked it up. You Fine. point, I punch. So you have purple and green. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. Oh, my legs are just aching. Need your servant awake. I've never walked so I much in my weak. life. Can can we rest now, please? What happens now? What the fuck? Do I have to put all of them in here? Sword! Live by the sword! Live a good long time! Wait. Okay. Nothing happens. Weird. Why do I have so many of those? If it doesn't do anything. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. He only has one key now, the heart key. It is done. Don't ask me. Now he has the mind key too. I'm so and happy. one of it the blue ones. Uh, I never imagined that we would be doing such blue great orbs things. Survived. I have no idea. Well, lots of lots of monsters bought a farm here. Okay. Don't ask me. I wouldn't know. Did we use that already? Yeah, I guess we did. Consider it done. I will do my best. There's another door here. The third one. I'm so happy you brought me with My legs are just aching. 
I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can we rest now, please? Let's see. I'll I'll hurt you if I hurt you. I strike you down. Ah! Ah! Tom, take you. Must get aid soon. What a fuck, Who man. is too young to have to avenge me? Jump back I'll hurt you, Bob. What? <laughs> Nature's servant awaits. You gotta be kidding me. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Feel. Shit. You point, I punch. Jump on my sword while you can, Eva. Like Move it! Come on, take it all! Fuck it. I stand ready. Shit. I, as you wish. Iron Golem. Okay, Minsk is back. Live, feel the backhand of justice. I will read it. Is <laughs> what? No, I'm really sick. What the fuck, it's just a few golems. Really? Are you kidding me? It shall be. Fine. That's not right. By my <laughs> order, you shall. <laughs> gotta be kidding me. Where Minsk goes. Evil stands aside. I a dangerous mistake. I won't let my friends be hurt. You will fall yet. My weapon does nothing. Oh, I'll show you a fight. Consider it done. By Tom, I shall strike you down. Hurt. My <laughs> weapon does nothing. And out. What the fuck was that? are just aching. I've never walked so much in my golem. life. Can, can we rest now, please? Sand Golem. I 
Iron Golem. Ice Golem. Wow. Gotta be kidding me, man. Okay, lots of XP, but that was a tough battle. What happened to Minsk here? It's poisoned. Oh well. I guess this will wear off after a while and he regenerates hit points faster than he loses them. Well that I hope this was is not a sign no of things to come. At all. We must strive to maintain balance. What's that? The altar bears inscriptions referring to the skull of a noble warrior. You place the skull on the altar and something happens. Okay. <coughs> you feel a small part of your own life force being drawn through space and time, then landing with an erupt thump into a body that is not your own. Your true body seems paralyzed, almost frozen in time. Your senses are assailed with a strange double awareness. Part of you remains in front of the altar, but another part of your being is now held within the body of the spirit warrior. You instinctively understand that you can use the spirit panel on the altar to control the spirit warrior body n you now partially inhibit with simple mental commands. Like a computer game or what? A game in a game. You look around you with your spirit warrior eyes and find yourself in what is obviously a dungeon. Implements of torture hang from the walls and there is a pile of bones in the corner of the room. Search the room. The torture devices on the wall both compel you and fill you with a sense of revulsion. Other than that there is nothing of note in this room. Huh. <laughs> it's like a text adventure. Exit to the north. Oh. Okay. Um, sparkling clear water cascades down from a sculpted fountain that dominates this room. Drink from the fountain. The water is cool and refreshing for a moment, then it begins to boil and burn within your mouth, scalding your throat and tongue. You spit the steaming liquid out onto the floor. What happened now? Damage taken 5. Oops. Well, exit to the north. As you enter this well furnished room, a spectral figure in rotting rags materializes near the far wall. It points an em emaciated crooked finger in your direction and glides toward you. Attack the ghost. Ouch. Hope I'm not going to need those five hit points that I lost. Hit points that I lost. Ghost did two damage to Spirit Warrior. Okay, I, I was only hit once. With the ghost vanquished, you notice the many furnishings of this chamber. A table, desk, bookcases and several chairs fill the room. There is a small chest in the corner. Search the room. He examines each piece of furniture in detail, paying particular attention to the books on the shelf. Your search proves fruitless. Um, open the chest. Inside the chest is a magical helm. You place it on the head of your spirit warrior body, knowing the extra protection will come in handy. Okay. So we go south. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm not drinking from the fountain again. Thank you. We go to the east. Other than the manacles on the wall and the few gnawed bones in the corner, there does not appear to be anything remarkable about this room of the dungeon. Um, search the room. Stuffed inside a hollow bone in the corner is a scroll inscribed with an unfamiliar incantation and a picture of a gibberling. You decide to save the scroll for later and place it inside your bag. Okay. We go east. As you step inside this room, a growling war dog leaps out from the shadows. Attack the war dog. The room smells of wet dog. Search the room. You find an iron key and a blue potion, which the spirit warrior immediately quaffs. Fortunately, the potion heals your wound somewhat, and you tuck the iron key in your belt. I exit to the south. In the center of this room you see a large treasure chest. There are numerous bones scattered about the floor. Search the room. You find nothing of value. Examine the treasure chest. You cautiously approach the chest. With a swirl of centuries old dust, the bones of the floor spring to life and assemble themselves into a large skeleton. The undead creature advances. Attack the skeleton. Open the chest. Inside the chest is a wand of missiles. You pick it up, sticking the insi it inside the belt of your spirit warrior form. Okay. So we go back to the north. And to the west. And to the north from here. There are still to distinguish this room from any of the others. There are exits on the east, west and south walls. There's nothing here. So we go east. This room is empty save for a small desk of fine oak in the corner. There is nothing on top of the desk but there is a single small drawer which draws your attention. Search the room. Apart from the desk itself there is nothing of interest in this room. Well then open the desk drawer. The room mental commands you instruct the spirit boy to approach the desk and open the drawer. Uh, the desk is coated with a powerful contact poison. Fortunately, the hardy constitution of the spirit warrior's body allows you to shrug off the effects of the deadly toxin. Whee. Inside the desk are a pair of bracelets. You strap them on and feel an instant increase in the combat skills of your spirit warrior body. Whee, uh, that was lucky. So we go to the north.
A rabbit gibbling rushes from the shadows to attack you, its small body a mere blur of fur and teeth. It moves with such furious speed that retreat is not an option. Use the scroll with the gibbling picture on it. With the gibbling disposed of, there's little else of note in the room. Well, just make sure. The search reveals nothing interesting. Boo. Okay, so we came from the south, we go to the west. You sense an ominous presence beyond the archway to the west and an iron chest stands against the north wall. Search the room. You carefully sift through the thick layer of dust on the floor, but apart from the chest and the ornate door, there's nothing else in the room. Uh, examine the chest. Using the iron key you found earlier, you unlock the lid of the chest. Inside is a blue potion. Instinctively, the body of the spirit warrior seizes the potion and drinks it down, causing your wounds to heal greatly. Does that mean I'm... We got points. Healed. I, sh I truly hope he has max maximum health now. Um, so we go through the ominous archway. As you approach the door, a disembodied voice fills the chamber. The crypt beyond the waits. Once the threshold is crossed, there is no return. I saved before I started that, so pass through the arch and enter the crypt. What the fuck? The smell of ancient death permeates this room, standing upright against the far walls a stone crypt with an archway leading into darkness. Carved over the archway is a hand with a single, unblinking eye gazing out from the palm, the symbol of Helm. From within the darkness of the crypt comes the sound of slowly shuffling feet. The sight of a desiccated corpse wrapped tightly in bandages emerging from the crypt comes as no great surprise. You sense this is the final confrontation for the spirit warrior and realize retreat is not an option. So we use the wand of missiles. Victory! As the mummy falls, so it must have been a magical sword. If you want to hit the mummy, you need a magical sword. As the mummy falls, the symbol of Helm erupts with a blinding light. You feel the body of the spirit warrior dissolve and your life force rushes back to your true body. As your life force is made whole, the strange force immobilizing your own body releases you. You notice a large key in your position that possession that was not there before. Everybody gets 21,000 quest experience points. What was that all about? I will have to prove myself worthy in mind, heart and spirit before I can unlock the final seal which guards the stairs to the next level of the dungeon. I have solved the puzzle of the colored globes and proved myself worthy in mind. However, I suspect I must possess all three keys, heart, mind and spirit before the final seal can be unlocked. I have completed the challenge of the Eternal Warrior and have proved the worth of my spirit. However, I says, yeah, I know. I guess we have all of them now. Well, you good thing you healed up. Where am I? So I guess we have to I go will to do that my spot best. now. Yeah, okay. Let's see what happens now. Yes. You place the key into the lock. Click again to turn the key and unleash whatever guardians await you. Okay. 
Let's level Kelvin first. Wait, what do you need? Okay, you have all that. You could try to summon a diva. What I don't understand is, you could get another one of that, but not another one of that. Smite you did have the smite, right? Yeah, weird. Okay. Let's summon a diva. How would you summon a diva? Like that. That's cool. And you get a mage level. No. Oh, why not? But it doesn't work like that. I mean, you have to cast the spell apparently. Hmm. Okay. No, what's that here? And a dragon's breath. Okay. And if I use that again, I summon a guardian, is that correct? Oh, several actually. I don't know what's what's that. Perumach Grillman. Huh? Very well. Yes. Okay, he's near death. Great fun! Right? It shall be. Oh, my legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, okay. can we rest now, please? <laughs> this is really annoying. Consider it done. Oh, what's that? Ice storm? Yep. Hmm? Yep. Ah, that's not right. You will uh, fall yet. Fuck it. Are you stupid? Get I away. Wait your word. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be okay. as gentle. Did they drop anything? Yeah, some things they did drop. Nature's healing, baby. Opens. We need healing. 
What do we have? Not much. What do you have? I await your need. Okay. So it shall be only one monster dropped an item. What's that? A club of detonation plus three. This crude wooden club burns with the raging spirit of the demon forever trapped within the powerful enchantments placed on the weapon. Occasionally, however, the demon's wrath escapes in a fiery blast. Yeah, 20% chance target will take an additional 10 points of fire damage with each successful attack. 7% chance of fireball will automatically detonate with each successful attack. Yeah, and burn the one that uses the weapon. Not funny. So, who used potions? Okay, I guess we are done with that one here. There's nothing, you, nothing I more that you can do I approve heartily of that. the path that has been taken so far. The good has been upheld. Okay, and we will deal with the two other locks in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching. And see you soon. Bye. On second thought, let's do this battle now. Because the battle after this one is a real bitch. It's very difficult. And it it's shall better be. if I do that in the beginning you of the point, video. I punch. Okay, you place the key in the lock, we already had that. And here comes the fun part. I mean that battle here now is tough too, but compared with the one that follows afterwards, it's a you know, a real walk in the park. I Oh my Yeah. How about you use Cam Swarding Whip and the Breach? No effect? He's injured. Yes. You will fall yet. Okay, this one is dead. Everybody full stop. Twenty-five thousand for the lich. That's not needed. Yeah, the bad thing about those flaming skulls is when they die, they create an explosion. I will require you. You have eight to be used to let me partake of it. Drink something then. You drink something, right? Right. Spell still an effect. We're Consider done. it done. And you slay him. <coughs> Shit. I will require healing if I am to be of use to the group. Where Art. Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Hui. Okay, but keep in mind that was the easy battle. So what did we get? Nature could find a home here for the Eleven thousand for a flaming skull. That's 33,000, if I'm not totally wrong, because we killed three of them. That was the third one. 
and 25,000 for the Lich. Oh, my legs are just aching. I know. I, I will never do walked my best. So much in my life. Can, can we rest now? What do we get here? Irin Sling plus 4. The gnomish village of Irin was long protected by a single guardian armed only with a magical sling created by the sorceress for which the town was named. When the village was overrun by orcs, the sling disappeared. It's a plus 4 sling. We already have a plus 4 sling, so that one is not better. Serpent shaft. Adorned with serpentine designs, this powerful quarterstaff has a chance to release a lethal toxin against its opponent with every blow. 50% chance, to be precise. Okay, nothing too fancy though. So, how about we form up here? Okay. So only one remains, the third lock, and you know, I will change my spell layout, I will buff like crazy, I will probably summon monsters and we'll see each other in the next video and see whether we can fight this one too. I mean we can fight it but can we win it? I don't know. We shall see. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon, this time for real. Bye.